what we're going to need today to make our takamaki. We have a makisu for rolling, a single sheet of nori, a small amount of sesame seeds, we have uh, 40 grams of big eye tuna, and 75 grams of sushi rice, as well as a small bowl of water for finger dipping so the rice doesn't stick to our hands, and as well as a sushi knife, um, any long slicer will do. This will be the process for rolling our tekamaki. We want to first start with our makisu here with the flat side facing up. You notice we have a kind of rounded side for the bamboo and a flat side. And it'll be easier too if you have these little pieces of fabric coming off in your direction give you something to, to grab onto. Then we're gonna place our sheet of nori on top. We want the, our rough side facing up. So our shiny side is going to be facing out. It'll be more presentable this way. And when we place it on the nori, uh, when we place the nori on the makisu. That is, we want to leave a small space at the bottom here, maybe like a half inch for for rolling up when it comes to that. Then we're going to get our fingers wet a little bit here so the rice doesn't stick. We spread it out over our hand. We're going to take our 75 grams of sushi rice. Form it a little bit across the top of the roll, evenly here, and then we'll bring it down to meet the edges. And it's important when we're making hosomaki to leave the top about half inch of the nori with no rice on it here. So it's going to give us room when we roll it up for it to seal off, you'll see. Okay, now we have our rice evenly spread around on the nori here. We're gonna apply our sesame seeds. Just a very light, light sprinkle of sesame seeds across the center. And then we're gonna add our tuna. Now it does help if it's not perfectly even across if you have any thicker ends to, to be on the end of the roll to keep the fish from pushing out the sides when we roll it up. Now at this point we want to put our thumbs under the back of the makisu here and place our fingers on top of the tuna and gently bring it up as we apply pressure to keep it tight inside and the tuna in place. We'll roll over till the nori meets the nori here and then for the last bit we'll just roll it one more quarter turn and oh, we apply light pressure we don't want to push too hard we will end up mashing the rice and the tuna so now it's time to cut it may help to get a small amount of water on the tip of the knife I want to start directly in the center here. I'm going to be cutting these into six cut. Do a single cut down the center. And then we'll turn it here. And we'll, make, and we'll cut it into thirds here. So again. finished 